to the garden alone, while the dew is still on the roses, and the voice I hear falling on my ear, the Son of God discloses, and He walks with me, and He talks with me, and He tells me I am His own, and the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. He speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet the birds hush their singing and the melody that he gave to me talks with me, and he tells me I am his own, and the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. I'd stay in the garden with him. Though the night around me be falling, but he bids me go through the voice of woe. His voice to me is calling, and he walks with me and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own, and the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known, and the joy we share as we tarry has ever known. I hope that we consider what Jesus did for us in the garden. He knew what was up ahead. He knew the pain that was coming. He knew the temporary separation from his father that he was going to have to face. He knew the betrayal, he knew the pain, he knew all of it. And I don't even think we have a clue the fullness of what he went through. He knew what was up ahead, and yet he said, Not my will, but yours be done. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for loving us so very much that even though you knew exactly what was up ahead in that garden, you said, not my will, but yours be done to the Father because of your great love for us. We love you in Jesus' name. May I encourage you to take this time, this season, to prepare your heart for the upcoming Resurrection Day. Remember, loving God and loving others gives us the wings to fly. I pray you have a wonderful evening and a great weekend, and see you Monday.